Hi guys, it's Carrie from SalesFlare and today I will explain how permissions work. I'll go over the different types of user roles and their built-in permissions, what permissions you can set and the difference between team data, group data, and own data, what user groups are, how to create and edit user groups and assign users to them, and how to set the visibility of pipelines to certain user groups. First, what are the different types of user roles? There are admins, managers, team members, and viewers. An admin is responsible for overseeing the team and configuring Salesflare. The admin role works well for people in charge of the team and or the CRM. And this can include your company's leadership, but also the people responsible for administering your CRM and its data. The admins have special built-in permissions, and they are that they can access all the team settings, manage your team, set targets, configure pipelines, customize fields. They can adapt the regional team settings. And of course, they can set all these permissions. They also take care of billing and settings billing. And they can give anyone access to accounts by adding the person to the accounts team. And lastly, they can delete opportunities they're not an owner of and delete accounts they're not a part of. These built-in permissions mean that no matter what further permission settings you set below here, the admins will always have these built-in permissions. Next, we have the manager. A manager leads the group of users they're part of. This role works well for sales managers who oversee separate parts of the company's sales team. For example, one working in different geographies or with different business units. Their special built-in permissions are that they can access some of the team settings, which are configure pipelines and set targets. And managers can also give anyone access to accounts by adding that person to the accounts team. And they can delete opportunities they're not an owner of and delete accounts they're not a part of. Again, the managers will always have these extra permissions no matter what you set below. Next, we have the team member. And a team member works in Salesflare without the need to take care of administration or management. So this type of role works well for your sales reps or your virtual assistant if they don't need to have full control over the CRM and its data. And lastly, we have the viewer. A viewer can only view data by default. This type of role works well for board members, investors, or high up executives who don't actively work in Salesflare but need access to the data and or insights. For each type of user role, you can set two things, what the user role is allowed to view and what the user role can create, edit, and delete. You have the option to find this for each role. For example, by default, viewers can view the whole team's data but can't create, edit, or delete any data. Or you can set it so that team members can see or view all the team's data, but they can only create, edit, and delete their own data. For viewing permissions, there are three options. Team data, group data, and own data. Own data means you're only allowed to view your own data. Your own data includes accounts you're part of, accounts you've created, and accounts linked to an opportunity you're the owner or assignee of. It also includes opportunities you're the owner or assignee of and opportunities linked to accounts you're a part of. It also includes contacts you've created and contacts links to accounts you're a part of. It includes workflows you've created, insights that are filtered at the top right on yourself, and tasks you've created. Group data is all data in your user group, for instance, in their location or business unit. And the group data consists of each group member's own data shared within the group. You can manage group settings in Settings Manager Team, which I'll explain more later. Lastly, team data is all data in your team. The same options are available for create, edit, and delete. That means you can define whether people can only edit and delete their own data, the group's data, or the whole team's data. There's also a fourth option to select no data. This means that the user can't create any data, nor edit or delete any data in the team. This is a useful option for those users you would strictly like to be able to have a view or overview in your team, like a board member, for example. As I mentioned earlier, you can create groups of users and set permissions based on this. You can create and manage groups in settings manage your team. For example, as a manager, you can create a group of users for your sales team that you manage. 
When setting permissions, you can, for example, set it so that team members can only see data in the group they're in. Or you can make sure that a user group only sees certain pipelines. You can set the user role and group on existing team members here. And you can set the user role and group on new users when you invite them to join your team. You can always change their user role or group when the invitation is still outstanding too. Lastly, I will go over how to set the visibility of pipelines. Pipelines are different from the rest of the permissions you set. By default, all user groups have access to all opportunity pipelines. Admins and managers can define which user group should not have access to certain opportunity pipelines here. Admins and managers can define this in three places. In setting set permissions at the bottom, in configure pipelines on each pipeline, or in settings manage your team on each user group. If you don't see some of these settings or can't change them, that's because you're not an admin or manager. If that's the case, it's best to ask a colleague of yours who is to change it. Okay, that's all I have for you on permissions today. All of these permission settings are available on the pro plan. You can find more details on the pro plan and settings billing. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us on the chat. Thanks for watching.